And I think we need to move on to the next fragrance because um, it's getting hot in here. Whoa. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rub. I'm here with the one and only Sonos so Salon Fragrance. Hi everyone. So welcome to our very first fragrance hot or not. So basically, Sandra Salomon Fragrance came up with this idea and I absolutely love it. So you have chosen six fragrances. I don't know which six they are. And I have chosen six fragrances and you have no idea which they are. No. So we will each take turn in presenting our fragrances and then we will discuss if that fragrance is hot or not. So before we begin, I just want to mention that not all of our fragrances that we have chosen are hot. I have chosen some fragrances that I don't think are hot at all. A fragrance can be insanely good without actually being hot and sexy. Yeah. So without further ado, let's start. So my first pick is one of the world's best selling fragrances, no doubt. Pretty much everyone has it know someone who has it or had it. This is the famous Dior Sauvage. So what do you think of this? Do you need to sniff it? Do you need to remind yourself of how it smells like? Yes, I have to. Hot or not? This is something that I have smelled on so... Uh, okay, listen, I'm not out there sniffing a lot of men. No. That sounded really bad. Yeah. But I mean, when you are out on the town, when you are at work, you do pick up fragrances yeah. from different kinds of men, even without being slutty. So I have been surprised by so many guys who I thought were clueless. And then one day they just show up smelling of Sauvage. Mm -hmm. And then I know there's hope for them mm -hmm. because this is a hot fragrance. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah so yes everyone has this fragrance everyone knows someone who has it but with that said it really doesn't matter because the scent itself and that's the reason why i bought it is absolutely fantastic this is one of the best compliment getters a man can buy for a reason it smells absolutely gorgeous in a seriously hot way and my next pick is light blue intense from dolce and gabbana mm. and some of you may have heard what i think about the original light blue i mean this is a woody a fresh, a citrusy, aromatic, and very likable kind of fragrance. Yeah. This is something that most guys, or most guys have had something like this sometime yeah. in their collection. And it does smell good, but is it hot? I think like this, and let me explain myself. This is a fragrance I will never ever stop recommending because this is a fantastic freshie. Not only is this a fantastic freshie, it's also a compliment getter. I love light blue intense. I 100% enjoy wearing this on a warm summer day, but we need to be super critical here. Yeah. So this is insanely good. I love it but it's not insanely sexy. There's a bit of sexiness in it, but it's not enough to make this a hot one. So I'm gonna say no. And uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> and here's the thing. I know I'm gonna get some shit for yeah. this because I've said that this is, uh, it has a bit of sexiness to it. And I still stand by that. But hear me out, I'm trying to get out of this here. Yeah, I see. This has a bit of hotness in it, but it's not enough if I'm going to compare it to other fragrances that I think are hot. No, and I'm so happy that you didn't say that this is hot because I would say that you are the only fragrance reviewer that you can trust 100%. Yeah. Every recommendation he has is good. 99.99. Uh, .99. Yeah, because you still recommend Light Blue, the original. Yeah. But this one really does smell good, but it's so boring and this doesn't get anyone going. It's not hot. So next up is another bestseller. And this is a fragrance a lot of guys either had or at least know about. This is Davidoff Cool Water, the EDT, the OG. So, hot or not? I mean, this is like going 20 years back in time. And this has, this one has a lot of scent memories for me from when I was really, really young. And that means that I can't think this is hot because I was a child mm -hmm. when I sm smelled this the first time. So this is not hot. Okay, and here's the thing. I don't think this is a bad fragrance, 
but it's not my favorite in the David Dove Cool Water line of fragrances, and I don't think this is a hot fragrance. My next pick is a Saro Wanted Eau de Parfum. The new one. This is the new one. Yeah. And I have heard so much about this. I have mostly heard people being disappointed in mm -hmm. it. And it is sweet. It's spicy, it has that wanted DNA in a really nice way, but I am wondering, is it hot? Okay, so I did a first impressions of this. I'm gonna to link to that one above, so please do check it out. I mean, the original most wanted epicness in a bottle. This, however, did not impress me. This is not a hot fragrance. And I am going to tell you about a guy who commented on a video where I had this in it. Mm -hmm. He said that this one is so good and no matter which of the most wanted or wanted fragrances he puts on, mm -hmm. his girlfriend wanna rip his clothes off. Mm -hmm. And that is actually the effect this one has as mm -hmm. well. This is crazy hot, I love it. It's sweet, it's spicy, it, it's everything you need to get someone going. Oh, you sound really excited yeah. about that word. Okay, yeah, so I'm guessing it's... It's very hot. So I want to know what you guys think of the new Azara Wanted. Is this a hot or not fragrance comment? Next up, the brand new Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal Elixir. I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'm gonna, however, link to my first impressions of it above, so please do check it out, hot or not. <laughs> So, I mean, just start looking at the bottle. It's, I just love gold. It's a gorgeous bottle. It's a gorgeous bottle. This is a gorgeous man, and any man smelling like this will smell hot. Mm. This is a no-brainer. This is crazy hot. I would say that most of the Lamal fragrances are hot. Yeah. But this one has another layer with the tobacco, with the honey, and I'm just starting thinking of a man with the body and honey and yeah. Oh, Let's okay. move on. Man, it's crazy hot. Honey covered man. Yes. Okay, with some tobacco sprinkle <laughs> on it. So yeah, here's what I think of Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal Elixir. I quite often describe Jean Paul Gaultier fragrances as sexy, fun and flirty because they are. Most of them have a bit of sexy sweetness to them and their overall compositions are stunning, fantastic, and seriously sexy. And this, the new Le Mal Elixir is exactly that. This is sexy, fun, and flirty, and definitely hot. Calan from Parfums de Marly is like latent exclusive on steroids. Mm. Because this one has an added sweetness. And you know what happens when you put some sweetness to a fragrance. It makes it really good and really sexy. Now, I didn't like this so much the first times I smelled it, but when I smelled this on skin, dried down, oh my God. Mm. So is it hot? So I'm gonna link to my review of Cologne above, so please do check it out. This is a fragrance that really did not impress me the first few times I tried it. Actually, I had to try it multiple times over the course of, I believe it was two or three years. But then one day I decided to try it again and it smelled absolutely gorgeous. This is a fragrance a lot of guys dislike, but a lot of women absolutely love. This is insanely sexy. This is the hot in Hot or Not times 100. That's how hot it is. What do you think of Calan? I have heard so many guys say that they love Leighton Exclusive. Mm. I have not heard that many guys say that they love Calan. I However, think one reason though, sorry for interrupting you. I think one reason is, and this is something I've heard from a lot of subscribers, is because there are apparently other sort of a fragrance reviewers who has totally ripped this fragrance apart. I believe that's the reason why a lot of guys stay away from me. And the other reason is also because the opening can be super spicy. Yeah, and I also think it is because a lot of guys feel really masculine and a woody kind of fragrance. Mm. But the truth is that we women, we really like the sweet ones. So with Calan, you get both this masculine, woody, spicy thing going on and you also get the sweetness. This is extremely hot. So next up is classy. Italian freshness. This is Aqua di Parma Colonia Essenza. This is basically like a citrusy, 
fresh scent that's soapy i believe there are a few floral notes in there as well a bit of musk a slight hint of sweetness to it as well hot or not this one is extremely sophisticated it's extremely elegant it smells like a gentleman and the thing about this gentleman is that you spend the whole evening with him and he is this true gentleman interesting conversations classy conversations and then at the end of the night you decide that you want to take him home because this kind of gentleman masculine stylish gentleman gentleman <laughs> Is someone that you want to keep. Mm -hmm. This is extremely hot. Ooh, interesting. So here's my take on Colonia Essenza. Does this fragrance give me a super sexy kind of vibe? No. Is there a bit of hotness in this fragrance? Yes. But is that enough for me yes. to label this as a hot fragrance if I have to choose between hot and then it's got to be really hot or not the answer is not but what this is is one of the classiest and most elegant fresh scents a man can buy that's also quite unique there's a bit of hotness in there but it's not enough for me to label this as a hot one my next one is polo cologne intense mm. and this one is aromatic it's spicy it's green and woody and this one smells exactly like grandpa mm -hmm, when okay. he has sprayed on or just patted on this aftershave mm -hmm. and maybe this also smells like the grandpa driving a cab talking too much and just being all over the place mm. uh, so you want to ask me if this is hot or not right yeah do you like grandpa uh... <laughs> <laughs> So I gotta be honest, this thing right here is one of my least used fragrances. I believe I've used it twice or maybe three times. This is not a hot fragrance. What do you think of it? This is... Yeah, next up is a fragrance I will never, ever stop recommending. This is an insane compliment getter. I absolutely love it. This is the original Prada Luna Rossa. How do you feel about this one? Is this a hot fragrance or not? You know, I am not that into freshies. I think freshies can smell nice and they can smell pleasant, but they are usually not sexy. Mm. However, the sun cloud, when you spray this on, could make any woman's heart skip a beat. This is seriously hot. Mm. And... Yeah. yeah, I'm so glad that you decided to say that this is a hot fragrance because this is an extreme compliment getter. This one makes me feel sexy as fuck. Yes, this is definitely a hot fragrance. It is. This fragrance smells so extremely funky. This is boozy. It's salty. It's woody. It's funky. It's dirty and it has tobacco so is it hot this is tobacco oud maybe you should have mentioned the name of it yeah <laughs> uh, so this is tom ford tobacco oud this is like you mentioned a mix of something that is seriously dirty and something that is crazy sexy and something that is extremely elegant this one dances between all those three in an insanely exciting way this is crazy hot and i think we need to move on to the next fragrance because um, it's getting hot in here whoa the last fragrance in our first hot or not video this is afnan 9 pm and i just gotta spray this take cover take cover mm. ah sweet this is pretty much like a clone of ultra male ultra male but it's not a perfect clone so it's a bit different how do you feel about this one is this a hot or not is this a hot or not this is fruity mm. and it is sweet yeah and it is incredibly sexy this is hotter than hot whoa okay and here's the thing ultra male is an amazing fragrance 
and so is this as well. This is also insanely cheap and the performance is crazy good. Yeah. But the scent, is it hot or not? Most definitely hot. So this was really interesting and a lot of fun. We yeah. gotta do this again. So yeah. this is the like the first part of our hot or not series. So I would love to know if any of you have tried any of these and if you think they are hot or not please put that in a comment please do drop a like on this video thank you i really do appreciate it make sure you head on over to sandra salomon fingers's channel i'm going to link to her channel in the description below sub to her sub to me and i'll see you in the next one